Yo, what is good, my fellow Magic Knights? It is your boy, Deadman Vince, back with yet another Black Clover Mobile video. And today, I want to kind of discuss a little more in depth about Julius getting a new skill page, and uh, we can go in the game and kind of look over some things as well. But overall, how I feel about it, um, I, I will say <clears throat> this video will probably be like three parts, right? Part one, the difference between the skill pages. Part two, the pros of having a second skill page and why it makes sense really to have a second skill page. Part three, the cons of having the second skill page and why it kind of sucks that they're already doing something like this. But before we get into all that, if you guys do enjoy these videos, you can go down below, smack the like, hit the subscribe, and hit the notification bell, and then comment and let me know what you want to see more so of uh, on the channel. Let me know if you like these kind of videos. Let me know if you don't. But <clears throat> I kind of just want to discuss this topic point um, because I feel like it needs to be talked about. I feel like this is going to be mean big things for the future. So, to start off, the original skill page that Julius had was Pride of the Wizard King. Gains 10% increased all attack, and it goes up to 25% all attack. And basically, it goes up every time you level it up. So, like, it was probably 10, 3, so it was probably level 3, it probably leveled up by 3% over the five levels. So 13, 16, 19, 22, 25%. That's probably how his skill page upgraded amongst those levels, right? Now, oh, and also on Julius's skill two, it naturally has a 50% chance to inflict time stop on an enemy for two turns and grant self speed level three for one turn. But the skill page added on the bonus effect of reducing the stamina of the targeted enemy that you selected to zero and also a 60% chance to apply 10% decreased stamina to enemies other than the targeted one. <clears throat> so, his original skill page wasn't that bad. It was pretty good. Um, it, it gave him a lot of extra damage because 25% increase to all attack is insane. Um, so it made sure that he was hitting a lot harder than he was... That he had the potential to do on his own. I mean, every skill page makes sure somebody can do what they had the more than what they had the potential to do on their own. But, let's go over to his new skill page. His new skill page is Pride of the Wizard King 2. Upon attacking, there is a 50% chance to attack after granting 15% increased damage dealt buff per 10 speed. The effect does not activate with cooperation skills used by partners. Um, or upon attacking, there is a 100% chance to increase attack by 15% per 10, uh, increased damage dealt uh, per 10% speed. Now, <clears throat> I will say I don't know how exactly all attack is calculated versus damage dealt being calculated. But what I will say is, all around, the skill page is a very big improvement, but I feel like the skill page is very, very similar in what it does, which is not the problem itself. There's no problem with having a new skill page and the skill page does functionally what yours did, but better than last time. I mean, to be fair, if you get this skill page, zero stars, and you have Julius's original skill page, zero stars, you are guaranteed 10% increase in all attack on your first turn of battle. Let's talk about first turn of battle. You're guaranteed that 10% increase in uh, all attack on the first turn of battle. If you only have this skill page, level, f uh, level or no levels at all, just level one, I guess, right? There's a 50% chance for you to get 15% damage increase. So basically, both of these skill pages are premium in a sense. Premium in a sense where you don't want to just get it and leave it at level one. You want to get it and max it out because with the original skill page, you're maximizing the damage you're doing. With this skill page, you are maximizing the chance for you to do that damage. The damage will always be there. This, like, once you get the skill page, you're always going to have the chance to do an extra 15% increased damage dealt per 10 speed, but the other card is just guaranteed extra damage. Do I like this? No, not really. Why do I not like this? <clears throat> because if this skill page is functionally a basic version of this skill page, then all they really should have done was like skill page awakening or something like that, you know? Like give us give us an extra effect on the skill page and the extra effect on the skill page is extra stars on it or something like that right and every extra star you get boosts the extra effect on the skill page and maybe even increases the old effect on the skill page right but just completely replacing a skill page with something that is functionally similar but a little better 
just isn't good because people spend money in this game. You, you realize? People spend money in this game. People basically are buying skill pages from you at this point. If somebody wants a character maxed out, they're buying skill pages from you at this point. Because you have banners where the skill pages come out like separately, so we can summon for the skill pages directly. So yes, we are paying money for skill pages. Why did you make us pay money for this skill page just to release this skill page that you have to spend money on? Now, what does the dead man mean by have to spend money on? Let's talk about it. Okay, Magic Knights, we are now in game. So let me let me show you something. And just to kind of like further my point here. Now, big gaming spies who live in your mom's basement and are watching this video. Regular people who live in your mom's basement and are watching this video. Regular non-basement dwellers. Anybody watching this video. One thing that you notice about my account is what? Oh, that every character is five star. So, as we know, the dead man boils on this game, sweats on this game, loves to play this game. Why? Why would I want to sweat for one skill page? Now we just saw all of my five star characters, right? Guys, this skill page did not get five starred the first time that it came out. It got five starred the second time that it came back whenever Black Asta came out. That is when this skill page got five starred, right? So you're telling me that this banner came out in the first place. Obviously I'm gonna summon for Julius. He's a limited character. I got a couple copies of his skill page while I'm summoning, but not all of the ones that I needed. Then, I very much so wanted to max out the skill page because it is a limited character, a premium character, and I understood, you know, since it's a limited character, they probably have a lot of longevity in the game, they probably last a little while, let me go ahead and get them maxed out, blah 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 blah. All logical lines of reasoning. Cool. Black Asta comes out, and while trying to get Black Asta, luckily I had all the duplicates I needed to just 5 star Black Asta after getting one copy of him. And then five star skill page after getting one copy of that. But if I didn't have all those extra duplicates, I can already tell that the Asta banner would have been a very painful experience for me to summon on. Probably more painful than the season two summons that I did. Because the season two summons, I had to do four full rotations to even get one of everybody's skill page. If I start all the characters, but you know, I want characters and skill pages, I know how I roll. Right? So, at the Black Asta, you know, point, I am summoning on another banner for Julius trying to get his page. Now, why would you make characters and pages that have so much priority that people are trying to prioritize them, you know, stack against other characters who are also really good? Again, I got lucky. I had all the mats I needed, so I didn't have to worry too hard about summoning for Black Asta. But could you imagine being in a position where you had to decide between summoning between Julius and Black Asta? And then after you finally get through that decision and you decide and now your Black Asta is lacking and your Julius isn't 100% because you decided to, or, or, or yeah, yeah, yeah. You, your Julius is like looking good, but your Black Asta is like chopped, right? Then, then they release another page for Julius. Another page for Julius. Granted, cool little step up, only eight multis. So realistically, it only adds up to it only adds up to one rotation and four extra like multi summons, sure. But even still, all that that I just explained, why would I go through trying to max out a skill page just for the skill page to be replaced with a skill that's highly similar? Oh, and by the way, guys, that extra little effect, as we know, every skill page gives a character an extra little effect on one of their skills. This skill page gives the same effect on the same skill. So it's like, literally, the skill page is functionally no different. It's just a boosted version. Not even a completely boosted version, because if it was a completely boosted version, it would do the more damage, and it would have a better effect right here. You know, maybe this would be bumped up to 70%. Maybe this would be bumped down to 20%, or bumped to 20%. Whatever, right? But like, no. They just made the same skill page and worded it a little better. Now, I don't know if this is a precedent for the entire game, and I don't know if this is just for limited characters. If it's just for limited characters, I guess that's okay. I guess. They're limited characters. They get the most use in the game, probably, because people are still... People are probably still going around trying to, like, tirade and say that Julius is, like, one of the top ten units in the game, when he's honestly not, in my opinion, but... 
besides the point obviously people are still using noelle she's a fresh anniversary character people are always going to have that honeymoon you know anniversary phase i don't even care that much for noelle in the game um no one of my favorite characters don't get me wrong but i don't think she's better than black Austin. so i use black Austin the majority of the time and then who else mary leona i mean i love mary leona as a character so you know i still use her when i can but a lot of the time it's not required that i need her and then who else spirit dive you know now that i've five starred him five started skill page and gotten him level 125 i'm having a lot more fun with him than i was before but even still he needs a better gear set but if you're just doing this for limiteds i guess it's okay but not really my problem with this more so is the fact that you want premium tickets once more but let's take a look guys let's look at all the events we got obviously arena obviously random arena okay cool what what else do we have we have this which has been i don't even know what this is called but this is like the one where you have to fight the teams and waves and everything you can skip it every day this has been out for like the month so far this is the the heroes arena or the tower of challenge which i need spire of honor which i need to do uh today prakidna cool this was already out i've already done this and then yeah okay cool we have all those events right there we got the one event we have this event we have all these different events but do you know what's funny what's crazy what's ridiculous about all these events there's no form of free to play tickets there's no form did y'all notice that there's no purple premium tickets anywhere that free to play players can get to it this skill page is quite literally a sweaty delicacy that's it that sounds gross but that's all it is because we can't go into this yeah you can't go into these so when they first implemented banners like these you go into these and the first rotation could be free to play stones then after the first rotation it's all premium crystals so you want to know where the only way you can get like these tickets right now in the game Oh, look at that. Who'd have thought by giving them my money directly, not only could I get premium tickets, but also crystals. And oh, guys, I also added up all this. This is 34 tickets altogether. This is 3,200 uh, crystals. So this isn't even, this isn't even enough to do all three rotations fully. Cause you can do, you can do the rotations three times on Julius's banner, get all those rewards three times on Julius's banner, which is cool, but like, at least have a bundle where I can just like pay for that bundle that package of bundles or something like that Like if this was split up in a way where it was giving me the three multis I wouldn't be as upset, but it's like after I buy all of this which guys are in the math It's like 10,000 yen, which is like 70 bucks or something like that After you spend the money on that you then got to go somewhere else and go digging around looking for more You know premium crystals so that you can get through those last few rotations on the banner and <clears throat> Still on the banner is cool but just 1 million gold ass give us more just five of these actually pretty good comparative to how many of these they usually give out for free in one sitting but still ass because we just need a lot of stamina in general this is this is great because these are very rare but ass because you're only giving us 10 you only ever give us 10 at most ass just 100 of these ass 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 ass, ass. level 125 absolute dog shit just 10 of these eh this is good Level 125 requires a lot of these, so any of these that you can get anywhere is fine. This has got to be one of the most dog shit. I mean, it's better because they added in seasonals to it as well. But even still, it's not a selector. At this point, give us selectors, bro. And then you get Julius. And I want to do this. I plan to do this. Just not at the moment, because like... I don't even use Julius regularly enough on the day to day to, you know, justify me getting this. But when I when I do use them again, when I start to use them again, it'll be cool to have this. Um, but yeah, I think I think second skill pages is very odd, very weird, very stupid. Yes, big gaming. Maybe don't make people summon for stuff. Maybe don't ask people for their money for one thing and then replace the thing completely and then ask for even more money indefinitely. Because even with the first Julius skill page, it was on his banner and people could use the, you remember, people could use the uh, 1200 black crystals for the first rotation. For, actually, no. Julius's banner when it first came out just wasn't limited. They didn't start doing this stupid shit until Black Asta came out. But literally, just free reign free to play players because someone on julius's original banner they could they had a free to play shot at getting his skill page 
Now it's literally just locked behind a paywall. There is no, there is no, how do I say this? There is no, oh, I can still do this free to play and get this. Yeah, no, go to work in real life free to play and then put your credit card in. And that's how, that's how you get the skill page. So yeah, Vic Gaming, bad decision. I don't, I don't, guys, I don't want y'all to think that I, you know, hate Vic Gaming's decisions just because they're Vic Gaming. I'm not just a hater. I hate Vic Gaming's decisions because they're stupid. They are, they are impulsive. They don't make sense. And you can't have impulsive decisions at an entire organization, entire company, because you have an entire, uh, the market, an entire customer base that is relying on you to send to, to what, what is the word I'm looking for? to deliver the a, a proper product and when you do things like release a skill page make people pay for it and then or not make people pay for it and then replace it with another skill page that is obviously better in every way and then make people pay for it and not give free play players a chance at all it's just kind of like what are you even doing at that point um now i do want to put a i do want to put a positive spin on this because I don't want to continue so I feel like before when I made my videos every now and then I would feel very negatively about something and I feel like I was down to make a video and just kind of leave the video where it was and I wouldn't care what kind of energy that promoted it just be kind of like a I talked my shit I spit my piece cool but I want to be a little more mature about it and I want to put a positive spin on it I don't think that secondary skill pages all around are a bad idea because if you actually watch Black Clover, you figure out that mages pretty much learn new spells in their grimoire whenever the time most calls for it. Basically, there is this whole thing that peasants can get their magics to crazy levels because they get put though they are put in much more uh, situations than regular I'm sorry, I just noticed. Is there a hole in the side of Asa's hat for his horn? There is. I've never noticed that actually. Anyway, there are there are instances where peasants are put in really tense situations and they're forced to kind of like evolve in that moment right there and they they make a new spell up for that very occasion that, that's very unique to their fighting style, unique to their magic. Then you have the other side of it with royals who don't really need to be put in tense situations for new magic to awaken. It can just kind of happen. Um, and then, and the reason why I was explained this way is because it was explaining Noelle in her case of not being able to control her magic and having to train like a peasant. And then also just being a royal and having crazy magic reserves, having the craziest magical potential, blah, blah, blah. And it, it, it is very uh, focused upon whenever they first start to do stuff like that in the show. You remember I've heard a few times, you know, Noelle, Noelle got a new page in her grimoire. Uh, obviously when they needed, I think when they needed to go down, either she got a new page in her grimoire when they needed to go down to the underwater temple, or she just learned to control one spell that she already had. It definitely happened whenever they were in the underwater temple and everybody was fighting Veto and Yami was stuck in the dimension with the game master and Yami learned a new spell and then like cut a dimension out. Uh, then literally, you know, in the, in the dungeon raid with Mars, and Asta and Yuno and Noel and Luck. Yuno and Asta literally found, well, respectively, found Bell, and then also found the Demon Slayer Sword, and both of them went into their respective grimoires like a new spell, like a new thing that they learned. So, like, it has been shown, it has been exemplified many times in Black Clover. They just don't show it anymore because it feels like more so people just train on their own and go so hard training that they unlock a new spell while they're training. So, it does not it's not completely out of left field that they decided to add another skill page to the game like i said some of the things that they did in the anniversary typically in gotcha games in general the things that people do in the anniversary are some things that they like to carry out th throughout the entire year right you can see here noelle has her skill page that came out on her banner but then noelle also has a skill page that came out free to play on the side now noelle's free to play skill page is kind of whatever it just increases the yule drop rate by 10 percent in stages but like there are literally four characters in the game that give 20% yule drop rate, so there's no point in using Noel's secondary skill page for that reason. I'm just keeping it for collector's purposes. It says SSR, so I'm keeping it. It's an SSR. Simple as that. But 
literally, this is one of the things that they implemented um, from the anniversary, and it looks that they are going to continue the trend of secondary skill pages. Now, how do I think skill pages could get better or kind of like a, how do I see two skill pages working out in the future for characters? The reason why I say that gaming fumbled is not because of the new skill page. It is because the new skill page is so similar to the last one. It just felt like upgrade the last one. If you look at Julius' skill page, it just upgrades the skill too. Let's go to Julius. I, I don't use it. Like, how do I say this? I only come to the screen to upgrade skills. So like, I'm so like not used to switching characters on the screen and everything. Like I just, I actually just back out, go find the character and choose them right there. I'm so like archaic with it. But basically this skill page that Julius has on right now is gonna boost his skill too. Then his second skill page boosts his skill too the same exact way. I feel like this is a very big like missed opportunity. They could have made it so that his new skill page changed his ultimate skill or changed his first skill or something like that, right? To make it a little more different to make it feel a little more premium because like the problem with it in my opinion is that they're treating it as if it's some crazy premium product but it's really just a slightly upgraded version of the last product if it were like more different i wouldn't be as upset and i'm not really that upset about it anyway because hear me out from this point on if they're going to release secondary skill pages and if they're good i don't think it would be good to do it just for limited characters because limited character that would just create limited characters and regular characters there's already a pretty big gap i feel like i feel like seasonals kind of closing the gap because seasonals are starting to get really really good um but at the same time i feel like if you do stuff like secondary skill pages for limiteds and do what i'm about to say and stuff like that just for limited characters it's going to put a huge gap between limiteds and regular characters which i don't think that's really that good i think you're i think all of your mages should have a good like mingling together um but if they, if they change the skill page to the effect that it is now, and then they made it so that, you know, skill one, because what does skill one do? Skill one just decreases speed by a certain amount, decreases their speed by 5%, increases your speed by 5%. Say, say maybe, say maybe skill one now has, oh, when you do skill one, it decreased enemy stamina by 5% as well, or 10% or something like that, which is super overpowered, but it will feel more premium, would it not? This right here is, uh, this one has a reduces stamina by 30% if the enemy lives, stuns an enemy. If the enemy dies, you get an extra turn. This one, they could have done something with like this skill, you know, and been like, oh, whenever using this skill, whenever using this skill does an additional 10% damage per speed buff like the little clock buff that julius gets because that stacks up to five times if you're stacked up to five of those buffs you're doing an extra 50 percent damage for you know like they could have done anything like that they could have they could have put a they could have affected a different skill with a skill page or something like that but what i say now for the silver lining is big gaming learn from this mistake do not just make a skill page exactly the same and then make it a tiny bit better make the skill page better make it affect a different skill here. And then also in the future, when you plan on upgrading characters more, since characters are put in situations where they have to learn new skills all the time in the actual series, you could eventually turn this into like a, now there's two pages, right? And this page gives this effect and this page gives this effect and this page affects this skill and this page affects this skill. You see what I'm saying here, Vic Gaming? And that can be like a, since you want to start putting in secondary skill pages for everybody, that's fine. Go ahead and start doing that. But when you start doing that, just be mindful of what you're working towards. So, yeah, I feel like I feel like you can do two skill pages. You know, like the like we have this Julius skill page. Because honestly, even still, these two skill pages all together would still be pretty insane. Because you have one skill page that's boosting your all attack. Like I said at the beginning of the video. All attack versus increased damage though is calculated differently amongst each other. But if you have increased all attack from one page, and then you have increased you have increased damage though per speed, like Julius all of a sudden becomes a damage demon. A speed demon as well, because Julius is pretty fast, but like a damaging demon. If you combine those two skill page effects, and not even combine them, but just like put it so that he can wear both of the skill page at the same time, but it would be kind of useless if you don't change the effect of the 
the skill effect that is getting added on on the second skill page but guys that's kind of like my gripes my complaints uh, my complaints about the skill pages the secondary skill pages but i also don't think it's that bad of a thing i am very aggressive when it comes to black clover mobile because i feel like this game was made for my success and i feel like the gaming works to ruin this game sometimes and i really do not appreciate it but i'm gonna try to be more mellow i'm gonna try to ease off a bit i'm gonna try to just you know be laid back about it um secondary skill pages again not a bad idea implement better implement better implement better that's what it always is with juvic gaming you always need to implement better you guys always just miss the y'all always miss the mark y'all always need money and as players we can tell good development companies you can't tell when they need money they just get it but that's gonna be it for you boy dead man vince i hope that y'all enjoyed my random uh ramblings monologuing uh i hope that you guys don't hate the new skill page system but if you do i can't stop you it makes sense why you would hate it but yeah comment like subscribe notification bell all that good stuff that's gonna be it for your boy dead man events peace